Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum and I'm here today at the James Julia Auction House up in Maine taking a look at an ammo can. Uh, they are having a big firearms auction in the fall of 2017 and this is one of the items in it. And well, this is not just an ammo can. Hopefully you figured that out already. Uh, this is actually a Waffenmeister's tool kit. Now the German army used these standard ammo cans for a whole bunch of different things and in one way that makes sense insofar as, well, it's a standard size, it'll fit all of the ammo can brackets in vehicles, they're handy to carry, people are used to them. On the other hand, everyone probably expects that they're going to be full of ammo and so I suspect there were a number of these where uh, if the Waffenmeister wasn't careful, someone accidentally walked off with his ammo can full of tools. Uh, the German, in addition to, of course, ammo and tool sets like this, the Germans also use these for things like cleaning kits. Uh, you'll find some that are marked as having petroleum or oil uh, cleaning in them, uh, cleaning supplies in them. They use them for uh, water cans for the MG0815. Uh, not, not quite. The water can ones are identifiable from the outside, but they built a water can that has the exact same external dimensions as one of these ammo cans so that it will, again, fit nicely in all of the standard compartmentalization and brackets and everything like that. This, this one, however, is, like I said, a tool kit. So inside we have this nice briefcase-like setup with a whole bunch of tools. Let's take a closer look. As you saw from back there, uh, this thing folds up to fit nice and smoothly inside the ammo can, and then it unfolds when you take it out. This center bit folds down to give you access to a pair of drawers, and we can also just slide it out entirely so that it doesn't get in the way. So what all do we have in here? Well, pretty much everything you need to work on pretty much any German small arm in the field. Uh, this is maybe specifically intended for the MG34 because it does have this uh, wrench, which is an MG34 uh, service wrench. You'll notice, by the way, they silhouetted all of these tools when they painted the inside of the kit. So you have a, uh, an obvious layout to where everything goes. You have an adjustable wrench here with a nice little Mauser banner logo there on it. Set of needle nose pliers. Now this one's pretty cool. Pry it out of there. This is a little portable vise, also has a little Mauser banner on it, and the purpose of this thing is to allow you to clamp down on, say, small parts, uh, tighten them up, and then you can work on them with the other tools in the kit, namely things like files. So with this thing you're not sitting there trying to hold on to some greasy tiny little piece and, you know, file off a burr or a corner on it. You can clamp it down and have it properly held in position. We have a couple of tool handles here, and those go along with a variety of tools like files, flat and round sided. We have a variety of different sizes there. Uh, we have a chisel head. Scrapers. Of course, you can't do proper machine gun maintenance work without a small hammer. Uh, that may sound bad today, but it is absolutely true. And maybe the coolest thing in there of all is an actual set of small calipers. This is pretty greasy here, but honest to goodness, calipers. You also had the two drawers in this center thing, and uh, they come with a variety of other parts. Punches, brass and steel punches of a variety of different sizes, some other scrapers. And here we have a, uh, or a broken shell extractor, a bunch of different parts, and you can keep anything else that you feel necessary in those drawers. And then the whole thing folds up, has a couple carrying handles, and drops nicely into your ammo can for storage and transport. 
There we go. I'm not sure that you would actually want to use one of these sets uh, to work on your MG34 out in the field, but you know what? If you needed tools, you could do far, far worse than a set like this. Really, the only reason you wouldn't want to use them is because, well, this is a really nice, complete kit in really good shape, and you probably don't want to beat up all of these things because, like everything German from World War II, this sort of thing has become quite collectible. So, if you don't have a tool kit to go with your MG34, well, Obviously, your collection is sadly lacking, and perhaps you should take a look at the description text below. Follow the link there to Julia's catalog page for this kit, and uh, you can take a look at their pictures and description. And if you, uh, well, if you need a kit, and of course, if you have a 34, you obviously need a tool kit for it, you can uh, place a bid for this one uh, through their website, over the phone, or live in person at the auction. Thanks for watching.